Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we will learn how to prepare the cost of goods sold reconciliation statement in Excel spreadsheet. We already learned a lot of you know reconciliation statement in the previous different series of video. If you have not watched that, then please watch that video. The link in the description below. All right. So in this video, we will learn the cost of goods sold reconciliation statement. All right. So before I start to show you the preparation of this statement, I would like to tell you some additional information related to this. All right. Okay. So we already know that there are the five steps for reconciling any statement like cost of goods or reconciliation statement, starting with the bringing the statement and ending with the calculating the closing balance of the second statement. And between these two steps, we have to follow additional three steps. That is this one. Okay. We already know the each step for reconciling any statement. In the previous video if you don't know then please watch the previous video okay here I'm going to directly jump into these sections okay to save the time all right under this statement we have uh, two books that is the income statement book and cost of goods sold book all right under both book we have uh, some condition to calculate the closing balance of the second statement so first condition is if the income statement book balance is given then the calculation should be based on the cost of goods sold book balance similarly if the cost of goods sold book balance is given then the calculation should be based on the income statement book balance all right under both conditions we can understand the further two conditions that is if the profit is in income statement then it should be added that is we should understand that loss in the cost of goods sold book all right similarly if the loss is in the income statement then it should be you know less that is we should understand that profit is in the cost of goods sold book all right similarly under the cost of goods sold book, we have some additional conditions. All right. If the profit is in cost of goods sold book, then we should, you know, add. That is, we should understand that loss in the income statement book. And if the loss is in the cost of goods sold book, then we should, you know, less. That is, we should understand that profit is in income statement book. All right. Now we have some, you know, two additional notes. That is the note number first, which is under the cost of goods sold reconciliation statement, we generally maintain the income statement account. And the note number two is if the first statement starts with income statement book, then it will end with the cost of goods sold book. Similarly, if the first statement starts with the cost of goods sold book, then it will end with income statement book. All right. So based on the current understanding of this statement, now let's start to prepare the cost of goods sold reconciliation statement by taking an example. Okay. In this sheet, we can see that we have both a statement that is income statement and cost of goods sold statement. Under both statement, each statement have its own component. All right, that is the, there are the two component of income statement that is the sales and gross profit, and there are the three component of cost of goods sold that is opening a stock, purchase, and closing a stock. All right, so basically there are total five unique component from these two statements. So based on these two, you know, unique, uh, you know, component of each statement we will adjust with this statement that is a cost of goods sold reconciliation statement by using this format all right this is the you know format of reconciliation statement all right under this reconciliation statement we have the two sections that is the eight sections and the less sections the eight or less sections will be filled up by adjusting the unique transactions based on required balance of the statement all right so in this uh, statement we have a two gap that is this one and this one in this two gap we will you know put the statement like you know balance as per you know income statement or balance as per cost of goods sold statement and we will put its balance in this sale all right so according to our rule first we have to decide which you know statement is our first statement so in this you know video i'm going to select this statement as a first statement you can select this one as well it doesn't require the sequence right it depends upon your choice all right so for this so here i'm going to select this statement as a first statement and put its closing balance that is this one all right you can see according to this statement we have you know four lakhs closing balance of the cost of goods sold and according to this statement we have the four lakh fifty thousand balance of the cost of goods sold all right we will find out this balance okay when we will use this one if we will use this one then we will you know find this one all right okay so click here and here i'm going to type the statement balance 
as per income statement and I press the tab and I put the balance of the income statement which is 4 lakh rupees so i'm going to tap 4 lakh rupees okay and i'll press the enter key now we already know the rule of the reconciliation statement that is when we will you know start with the income statement then we will you know close with the close cost of goods sold statement all right similarly if we will you know start with the cost of goods sold then it will end with the income statement all right there is a you know opposite relationship between these two statements all right so for here i'm going to tap the balance as per cost of goods sold cost of good sold statement all right and i'll press the tab all right and here we will calculate this balance after adjusting the eight or less section all right okay now let's adjust all the component from both statement all right okay so first is sales amount sales amount you know increases the balance of the income statement but we already know that if we will you know start with this statement then the calculation should be based on this statement all right so this amount increases the balance of income statement that means this amount will you know decreases the balance of the cost of goods sold and we have to follow this statement so this component will be put under the list section so put the name sales all right and i'll press the tab and now put the value of five lakh rupees all right and now press the enter key all right similarly the gross profit so gross profit is a you know another component of the income statement which reduces the balance of the income statement that means it increases the balance of the cost of goods because we have to follow this statement why because we have started with the income statement all right so this balance will be put under the aid section so click here and put the name gross profit and now press the tab and now let's put the balance of 1 lakh rupees all right press enter key all right we are done from this statement now let's see. move on to the cost of goods sold statement so based on this statement we have the first you know the component which is opening a stock and the opening a stock you know increases the balance of the you know cost of goods sold and we have to follow this statement for calculation because we have you know started with the income statement so this component will be put under the eight sections so put the name opening balance and i press the tab and i put the value of 50 000 rupees all right similarly we have the second component which is purchase and purchase is also increases the balance of the cost of goods sold and the calculation should be based on this one because we have started with the income statement right so this balance should be put under the eight section so click here and put the name purchases and i press the tab and i put the balance of this you know component which is six lakh rupees okay and now press the enter key now we have the last component that is closing a stock this is not the component of the cost of goods sold because this is the you know sum of these two you know uh, component all right the next component is this one all right so closing a stock this component reduces the balance of the cost of goods sold and the calculation should be based on this component right so this is a kind of loss of this statement so this component will be put under the you know list section so click here and put the component closing the stocks now press the tab and now put the balance to lakh rupees okay now press the enter key now let's add these values by using the sum function so click here and press the equal to sign tap the sum function now press the tab and now select the range from here to here and now press the close parenthesis and now press enter key all right similarly click here and now let's add these sales by using the sum function so press the equal to sign tap the sum function now press the tab and, and now select the range from here to here and now press the close parenthesis and now before pressing the enter key just click here and put the negative sign to show the value in the negative round. All right. Now press the enter key. Now let's add these three values to get the balance as per cost of goods sold statement. All right. So for this, press the equal to sign, tap the sum function, now press the tab, and now select the value this one, comma this one, comma this one, and now press the close parenthesis, and now press the enter key. All right. You can see. You can see the four lakh fifty thousand rupees is balance is for cost of goods sold you can see this one all right that means these balance and this balance are matched that means our calculation and preparation is correct all right you can see this this one and this one is matched this one and this one is matched all right okay so guys i hope you understand the concept preparation and calculation of this statement however if you have any you know doubt or you know
know any query regarding this video then please ask me in the comment box below it's a very easy to calculate it that's all for now thanks for watching this video if you find it useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next video signing off